brainy. There's lots of scams associated with labels, and when you're reading labels, and I'm telling you this, uh, somebody's been in the skincare business for many years. When you're reading label, uh, when you're uh, making a choice on on uh, on what, what kind of products to use, whether it's skincare products, topical or edible products, cereals and foods, you want to be an la- uh, ingredient reader, not just a label reader, but an ingredient reader. There's lots of copy, marketing copy, marketing verbiage that isn't doesn't necessarily all the time match up with the ingredient decks. So you got to learn. To read ingredient decks. I've been teaching a class on in the skincare world about reading ingredient decks. There's so much scammery. Uh, well, there's so much scammery everywhere, but especially in the skincare business and especially in the food business. The food business and the skin health or skincare business are two of the most scam-ridden businesses there there are. And our only weapon is going to be savvy to reading ingredient decks and to listening to programs like this, The Bright Side, where we talk about this kind of stuff every day. 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. So we'll continue talking about grains and wheat, and then we'll get into some nitric oxide. We'll talk about the gut-brain axis. This is a really interesting uh, interesting new phenomenon, or at least new in the scientific and research world, the link between the gut, the digestive system, that is, and the brain and mental health issues, the digestive system and mental health issues. We'll continue talking about that over the coming days. Thanks so much for listening to us on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236. 6010 is our number. Steve, good morning. What's up, buddy? Oh, hello there once again. Yes, uh, good morning. We uh, had a question about well, a couple questions. One was about magnesium uh, in the liquid form. Uh, we okay. were trying to look around for some good sources for, uh, you know, to try it in the liquid form. We, we've get yourself a Vitamix. It. Get a Vitamix, Steve. Do veggie juices. That's the best way to get your magnesium in a liquid form. Uh, green veggie juices. I'm sure that's not what you meant, though. I, I was just that was just as, as an aside. Uh-huh. Continue, my friend. Continue. Oh no, no, that was just if if you're uh, if you can um, uh, if you're able to give uh, uh, on on air, you know, maybe some some different sources uh, or uh, if that's something maybe we should. You talking uh, about you li- know, by, sources by of liquid mag- or- sources of liquid magnesium? You're talking about. Yeah, different places we could uh, you know uh, get it from uh, beyond OsteoFX, of course. The Beyond OsteoFX is that's your liquid mag. That's my favorite liquid magnesium. You can get liquid magnesium anywhere, but Beyond OsteoFX is the best way, in my opinion. You can find liquid. You can just do a search on the internet. You'll find lots of liquid magnesium. But I was only half kidding. The best way to get your liquid magnesium is really vegetable juices, green vegetable juices. Okay. Wherever, wherever yeah. you see green in, mm-hmm. in in spinach and kale. And broccoli, wherever you see the color green in the vegetable kingdom, or really anywhere, you're looking at magnesium. By grinding up your kale, by grinding up your spinach in a Vitamix with some water, you'll get the best best uh, liquid magnesium beverage you'll ever ever drink. And on top of that, you'll get all the phytonutrients, all the plant nutrients that are in the spinach and the kale and the broccoli and the lettuce and the cucumber and, and the celery, etc. So look, the veg. Vegetable juices are unspeakably healthy for you, and I'm not talking about V8, by the way. I'm talking about good, fresh vegetable juice where you you spend $400 or so on a Vitamix. It is a little bit pricey, but it's the best health insurance $400 you'll ever spend. And just do veggie juices every day. You know, if you're sick in any way, or if you don't want to pre- prevent yourself from being sick, or you're elderly, or you have a digestive problem, or you know somebody who's elderly or has a digestive problem, or you know somebody in a nursing home, get them on veggie juices and veggie soups. It's unbelievably healthy. Not the, there's, there's lots of health, health benefits to drinking veggie juices, but uh, one of the most important health benefits are, is going to be the liquid magnesium. Now, if you want a supplemental liquid magnesium, I would use the Beyond OsteoFX. All right, and uh, just one other uh, quick thing. Uh, what would you recommend as far as uh, like a detox for uh, for a respiratory system, uh, the lungs? Uh, Breathing. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but that's the best way to detox for the lungs, ex- uh-huh. exhaling. And when I talk about deep breathing, obviously everybody knows that breathing is a cyclical process, inhaling and exhaling. It's the exhale where all the good stuff happens. Well, I don't want to say that, but the exhale is very important and sometimes misunderstood or underappreciated. So practicing the exhale, that's when you're blowing off acid, that's when you're blowing off carbon, mono- uh, carbon dioxide, and uh, that's where you're activating the parasympathetic or the re- relaxation nerve nervous system. So doing your deep breathing where you're exhaling a little bit more than inhaling is the absolute finest way to detox in general next to a bowel movement where you're eliminating toxins, a lot of toxins, but next to a bowel movement, the most powerful and important way to detox is simply by breathing. 
And that's why, you know, that's why I'm always saying it's not that expensive to get to be healthy. You don't need to spend a lot of money. A little bit on a nutritional supplement program, but you'll find you're eating less, so it's kind of a wash there. Making sure you're practicing your deep breathing techniques, making sure you're using all these mental health strategies that we talk about all the time, restrict, restricting your intake of refined sugars. These are all cheap almost free, some of them are free, strategies that we can use to improve our health. If you want yeah. to detox your lungs, exhale. Practice okay. your deep breathing. Is the, I just, as a reminder, uh, what part of that cycle uh, do we, uh, is it, uh, is the more rapid one, is it, is it the exhale? The, that, exhale. the exhale. That's is, what you, that's where you'll notice the most rapid, rap, rapid benefits is on the exhale. And you can do this especially, you know, one of the major signs of an activated stress nervous system is constipation. Okay, and constipation is like an epidemic, and based yeah. on my experience. So you can experience the power, the, the relaxing power, the parasympathetic activating power of an exhalation if you're having difficulties evacuating a bowel movement, if you're constipated. Sit on the john and practice your deep breathing, focusing on the exhale. And as you're exhaling, you can actually feel your intestines opening up. You can actually feel the lower part of your body opening up. And that, I mean, that happens almost instantly as you're exhaling. Now, if you're not constipated, you're still going to get the benefits, but that's just a, not a, a real notable way to experience for yourself firsthand how important an exhalation can be for relaxing the entire body. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you, Steve. God bless. Have a beautiful day. All right, Brian in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, my man. Hello? Hey, Brian, what's up? How you doing? I'm, hey. I'm, yeah, can you hear me? I'm, uh, yes. <clears throat> I've been listening to your show for a while, man. I really I really love uh, the way you approach uh, health with through the through the digestive system. I'm also in the fitness world, so I uh, yes. live that are way you, a, lot, a lot, too. Are you a weightlifter? Uh, well, I'm a trainer. I train outdoor high-intensity boot campers. Oh, nice. Hey, I got, only, I got 10 seconds to the break. Hang tight, Brian, okay? We'll get okay, you when, we, when we come up. Hang on. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business in residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health and we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855-308-8326. 26. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Do good people ever want to call an attorney just to find out if they're right or wrong? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what are you forced to think about first? Money. If you could call as often as you wanted and talk as long as you need without a bill, would you call? Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's LSProtection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. 
Results will vary from case to case. The CDC just announced flu vaccines may have the wrong strain of flu virus. You may not be protected. Whatever your lifestyle, your immune system is critical and Immudine provides your immune support. Doctor recommended stimulant free and not found in pharmacies. Go to Immudine.com to find out more or to place an order or call 866-257-8668. That's I-M-M-U-D-Y-N-E.com or 866-257-8668. Remember, Immudine is key support for your immune system. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and in a word the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Find out how to stop Big Brother in his tracks at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Brian in Texas, what's up, my man? Sorry to cut you off there. That's all right. Uh, I just have, I've been wanting to call for a while, so I have like a bunch of questions for you. But I've been listening to you talk about a lot about the... Um, fasting and stuff like that, and I've been kind of tinkering with it. I've actually lost, like, 30 pounds wow. since October uh, wow. doing a lot of fasting and stuff like that. Nice. And I'm, I'm curious to know, like, how often is it okay to skip, like, a day of eating or to, like, really go low calories, especially if you're training? If you're training, it's very important. Read, read this guy, Ori Hoffmeckler. He talks a lot about training and muscle building and intermittent fasting. Uh, read The Warrior's Diet. A great okay. book about it, where he, for for bodybuilders and weightlifters. It turns out intermittent fasting is a wonderful way to cut up, uh, to to get definition. And there's really no answer to that question, Brian. Uh, the less you eat, the better off you're going to be, as long as you get your nutrition. That's important. You got to okay. make sure you're getting your your mighty ninety essential nutrients. Calories represent work. Uh, represent uh, an, uh, something for, that the body has to do. If the body is spending its energy or its resources digesting food or processing calories, those are going to be uh, resources that the body does not have available for healing and for wellness and for health. So the less work your body has to do processing calories, the more efficient it's going to be in terms of healing and health and wellness and longevity and anti-aging. So what you're looking to do is restrict your calories while you're making sure you get enough nutrients to Technically, that's called the CRAN diet or the CRON diet, calorie restriction with adequate or optimum nutrition. As far as completely doing your fasting goes, once a week is not a bad idea, twice a week even, once every couple of weeks is not a bad idea. And by the way, I keep getting this question, I got a, a question yesterday and I keep getting this. When you're fasting, you can, it doesn't really matter if you do your supplements when you're fasting. You can do them, you can not do them. It's not going to make that big a difference if you take your supplements while you fast or you miss a day with your supplements as long as you get them in the next day. Uh, as far as your question goes, how often, it doesn't really matter once a week, twice a week, even if you were to fast three times a week. You want to make sure, however, that you're not starving of nutrients. Most of us are not going to have to worry about calories. You know, There's plenty of calories around. It's the nutrients, the vitamins and the minerals, the so-called Mighty 90 nutrients that you really want to focus on. When we talk about intermittent fasting, we're not necessarily talking about fasting from nutrition. We're talking about fasting from calories, which at the end of the day represent work to the body. It's giving the body a holiday, a food holiday. Okay, that makes sense. And then uh, I do. I always do a, like a really big green. I usually do two green smoothies a day, so I think nice. I get enough of my nutrients. So. Okay. <clears throat> and then the other thing, I, uh, I have asthma, and so it makes my running my running suffers real bad for my asthma. And I know you always talk about like natural ways. I use an well, inhaler I, that only helps me right before my run. It never helps. No long term sure. effect. Is there any way I can eat? Yes. Look to if you have asthma, that's a sign that the body is in a defensive posture. Asthma represents the body protecting itself. 
And so you want to look at what the body's protecting itself from. Exercise can represent a stress on the body, and so that can induce asthma. It's called exercise-induced asthma, as I'm sure you know. But usually there's something in the digestive system. Usually it represents some kind of immune system activation, defensive system activation. Look to foods. That's the most likely suspect when it comes to asthma. If you're looking for some good nutrition for asthma, vitamin C, magnesium, vitamin E, something called N-acetylcysteine, or